look way prince here. <laughs> my loves welcome and welcome back to my youtube channel it's mercy here again and i am here with an amazing youtuber <laughs> goes by the name steph dingena dingena say hi hello guys my name is steph dingena and i am equally a cameroonian youtuber based in boya and i create content on lifestyle natural hair and a lot of other stuff bomb as vlogs okay yeah yeah the mother bomb has vlogs okay so thank you guys so much for clicking to watch today's video but if you are not yet subscribed please go ahead and click on the subscribe button it is absolutely free we are just for filming a video on her channel so once you are done here please move over to her channel and show her some love just watch what we created together yeah guys you're not going to regret it it's amazing it's it's beautiful so we are going to be comparing our 20s versus 30s okay she's in her 20s i am in my 30s so if you sound like something you're interested in please keep, keep watching, watching. Then it goes a little the first question i'm going to ask steph what were your 20s like? Okay, my 20s are actually challenging. It's tough because it's like there are all these milestones that people have put and the expectations that you feel like you need to meet and when you start checking, like you're growing old and you're not meeting them. It's yeah, a lot I of know. pressure, yes. I think I remember when I was in my 20s as well, the pressure was so much. Expectations versus reality it was not matching up so what are your major priorities now in your 20s my major priorities now are wow okay <laughs> <laughs> my major priority now is like just trying to be the woman i want to be yeah. like just trying to to do everything that i need to do to be where i want to be yeah. at the time frames i've set for myself wow that is really good if you're in your 20s please Pay attention to what you say. <laughs> very, very important. I think that is good. That way you have a focus and yeah. you'll be able to accomplish whatever you want to, you know. You can do it. We can. Since we're having a conversation, like what how different were your twenties from your thirties? Like does it get any better? Because like <laughs> so we're like, okay, me at thirty, this is going to be like this, and we don't really know. We're just hoping that yeah. how different is your twin are your twenties from your thirties? What how different are the expectations? I think in my 30s now, I've become real matured. I, I now see things from a different point of view. You know, when I was in my 20s, I believed that life was easy. You know, when you have your parents, they provide everything for you. But the moment I turned 30, it was a different ball game. Like, my dad was like, okay, mercy, you have to grow up. <laughs> As my mentality changed drastically, like I said, so I felt like in my 20s I was really naive, but now in my 30s I am more matured, I'm bold, I know my I know my left or my right, I can make decisions all by myself. But in my 20s I could not. I needed help from my parents and people around me, but now in my 30s I know what is good and what is bad. What is the craziest thing you have done in your 20s? <laughs> Let me think. Mm. That's a bit hard because like I I'm very I cautious know. about crazy things. I don't want to make mistakes that I will regret, right? But I think the craziest thing I did when I was like in my twenties, the craziest mm -hmm. thing I've done is when I was in the university, like yeah. we are in the dorm, like I lived in the university hostel. Okay. So we had like they locked the gate at a particular time but my friends and i actually went clubbing after exams and like went to party mm -hmm. and that day was, it was a ghost town like it was like the, it was a sunday and then the following monday was a ghost town so like that just stopped re working really late and we needed to get back to school mm -hmm. and like there was no means and we saw this person that was driving really crazily like there were no cars on the road it was really late and the person was driving really crazily and we were like 
because this person can really have an accident. But that's the only car, that's the only moving vehicle I've seen mm. on the road. And we're like, let's stop this car. <laughs> we stopped the car, and the man was like, What do you want? Like, he was actually sounding drunk and weird. They were just yeah. pressing our fingers, and then we got into his car. And that's the crazy thing I've done because, like, I was not getting to a random stranger's no. car at the middle of the no. night. So, considering like, every saying, yes, because they go on everything, yeah. the crisis. So, I got we got into his car and got the speed. That was the scariest. Mm. I'd never been that scared. My life. he was driving. I was like, God, if I'm dying today, yeah. I'm from the club. Where am I going? To? <laughs> if I were your shoes, I'd be like, God, let me start writing my bills. <laughs> I was like, so scared. Like, we were literally praying in the car and. When he got finally got to a school game, we're like, hey, thank you. The way we jumped out of that <laughs> car, no. <laughs> See, I'm not doing that thing. <laughs> I went out with my friends. Um, we went to the club. Guys, one thing I'll advise is that each time you go somewhere, either a restaurant, please always ask the cost of a bottle, whiskey, wine, or whatever you're drinking. Always ask. Even though they give us a price bet. We were just so excited. We were like, okay, what would you guys take? We were like, okay, bring no shivas. Of the group of friends so they bought the shivas and we started drinking and when it was time to settle the view guys that bottle was way out of our budget like i never found yourself in that situation <laughs> where yeah i don't know what i would do that's that's the height of yeah, the like, environment then we just the contributing money like okay but what do you have what do you have it did not sum up to that amount the amount we're supposed to pay and the rest is history. Let me not tell you guys. <laughs> What's life in your twenties like? Would you say it's harder than when you were twenty? Or is it really hard? Yeah. It's hard because uh, at this point in your life, everybody looks up to you. Yeah, like the responsibility. responsibility increases, like it's skyrocketed like that. It's hard for you to ask for financial assistance again from your parents. They're like, no, yeah. I'm. So, you are supposed to give us money now. Why are you still asking? So it limits you. Yeah. It limits you a lot. It limits us in a lot of things. Okay, what are your priorities now? My priority, my major priority now is making money. <laughs> <laughs> making money, that's my, that's my priority now. Making money. <laughs> Just really making money. <laughs> Alright, let me let me save you the stress of asking me what my priorities are right now. Money, guys. <laughs> What is your social circle like looking now that you, you are 30? Like, are you more intentional about the friends you make or you are friends with like everyone you are friends with from like high school or you have to catch some people out for some reasons? When you turn 30, I don't know, God blesses you with a lot of wisdom that you, you, you get conscious of the kind of friends you keep. You know, when we are in our twenties, we are excited. We just want to feel like you belong in. Yeah, we just want to vibe with everybody. Everybody and that feeling of belonging to somewhere. But now in your thirties, you just want to be in the midst of people who think positive, like you, like yeah. you know. Well, because we are like exactly because we're not getting any younger, and the things that we couldn't achieve in our twenties. In our thirties, we are more focused now on achieving those dreams. When did you have the most fun? Also, when you're twenty, when you're thirty, when you're thirty. My twenties. I loved my twenties. <laughs> I loved my twenties because then we were just excited. Yeah. And we were just like, okay, we could go anywhere we want to. We could dress anyhow we want to. You know, just vibing, hanging out with people. But now you're thirties. People are like, your parents will remind you, bo. You're not getting any younger. <laughs> Yeah. You're not getting your now you have to be focused, you have to get married, you have to start thinking of settling down. Yeah. You know, so my most exciting part of my life is when I was in my twenties. And that's why I would say if you're in your twenties, please leave your twenty. Leave it to the like, this advice leave I it. <laughs> <laughs> Leave your twenties to the fullest because when you turn thirty, oh god, it's a different ball game. But I'm not scaring you. <laughs> this actually scares me because <laughs> like I think I am not scary and they are scaring me because honestly I am here thinking okay that is I'm, I'm going to to like have more fun in my pets because like I'm not going to have more response no. like I'm just feeling that pets are going to be better like I'm my chances are feeling that pets will be better and then it's like <laughs> it gets no the thing is, like I said when you're in your twenties. You have like more leverage. Have, yeah. Things you want. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But in your thirties, 
your, your family people will run after you. <laughs> your village people, <laughs> oh God, like, your village people will run after you, like horse coming left and right. And if you don't have money, you'll not be able to achieve all of that. But when you're in your twenties, first of all, in your twenties, they assume you are still a student. Yeah. And they they know at the back of their mind that you don't have. Yeah. But when you're in your thirties, they are people expect a lot from you. That is just the gospel truth. I don't know about other people, but in my life right now, people expect a lot. So don't get scared. <laughs> what inspires me most is just the woman I want to be. So that's my driving force. I have this vision of who I want to be in the future and that's just what inspires me to just keep making the right choices because I feel like if I do that, finally going to pay up at some point. I don't know what inspires me most, right? <laughs> I, I, I don't know. I know that sounds weird, but I'll figure that out. One thing I regret about my 20s is that I didn't really have a vision. Like what I see young girls in their 20s now, you know, they have a vision, they, they know what they want to become in, in life. You know? She wants to become the woman she wants to be. So I, I didn't really have a focus, I didn't really know what I want to, what particular thing I want to, to, do, to yeah. do. But I feel like we have it easier because like we have social media, we have a yeah. lot more exposure mm -hmm. than you guys do. Yeah. So it's easier for us to see parts that different people have taken now are like okay this is what i want to be uh, unlike you people who like we did not really have youtube yeah. in cameroon or to be to all. have mm -hmm. that exposure yeah. yeah i think exposure stress and depression i reject depression Amen. <laughs> <laughs> i don't think i've ever got to that point where i become depressed guys you don't want to get into that okay but stress i think i mentioned this in one of my videos when i'm stressed i just go out take a walk, you know, it might come from a bad news. I just take a walk, admire nature and just be grateful for how God made me. I'm not handicapped yeah. and I, I, I'm, I'm just like, God, I'm grateful. No matter yeah, the stress I'm, you. yeah, I'm just grateful, yeah. Actually, I've been depressed a lot Aww. in this, my 20s. Like, I've been so depressed, especially like, I. I told you about like the exposure but the exposure also comes with like so much expectations from within like you you're seeing your mates in other areas doing yeah. exceedingly better than you are and you cannot help but compare yourself to them mm -hmm. like you're like okay what am i doing and then you just get in one really dark place and i was there just last year last year was really rough for me and i got to that place where i was really in a dark spot but just really having gratitude, like yeah. gratitude helped me so much because I actually had to build a routine where I actually intentionally recite. Mm -hmm. I have a family that loves me, I have this, I have, and I had to actively look for things I'm grateful for in order to get out of that place. Yeah, that's why it's always good to talk to someone, you know, when you have, always have that person whom you can confide in and whom you feel comfortable expressing how you feel without being judged. Because one of the things that we run out, we run away from is being judged. judged yeah. yeah. Other people's impressions about us. Exactly. Um uh, I look way prettier. <laughs> <laughs> I look more confident because back then I used to be a tomboy. I wear my t-shirt, I would take off the sleeves, and I'll be like, hey yo, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> I really like to see you back then. <laughs> I feel different, I feel confident, I feel beautiful, I feel I love myself. Self-love, that's what I'm experiencing right now. That's really nice. Honestly, I'm actually just experiencing <laughs> growth. <laughs> Honestly, I'm just growing and I'm happy with where I am now. I'm yeah. happy with how far I have come, even though it doesn't look far. <laughs> but I'm just happy with, with the growth. Yeah. What advice would you give people in your 20s and in your 30s? So, as the host in this channel, let me answer. Okay, in my 30s, I'll just be just, just, just live life as it comes and be, be focused, have a plan, work on it, and you know, with prayers and everything, God is going to see you through. Okay, Amen. do not accept pressure. One of the things that kill us in our 30s or that leads us to depression. So that state of depression is pressure especially if you are single because sometimes 
one thing that uh, progress is also that pressure and that feeling of you know people mm -hmm. expecting yeah too time. much from you yeah so one of our advice is just be you love yourself self-love is so so important my advice to people in that 20s i don't feel like i can advise people in that <laughs> Because like you guys know, you have more wisdom than us. So I know. Yeah, but my advice for in that sense is that we have so much resources available to us. Yeah. We have a lot of room to grow. We have a lot of opportunities just on our hands, mm -hmm. and let's just make the most out of it and just be focused and try to to sacrifice some things now to have better results in the future so we have come to the end of this video um i can say i enjoyed every part of it did you i did <laughs> <laughs> and i hope you guys also enjoyed please uh the link to her channel will be in my description box so please my loves i know how supportive you guys can be you guys have never failed me before in any collab in all the collabs i've ever done in this channel so please run over to her channel and show her some love she is my baby she is so sweet okay she Thank produces you. a lot of beautiful content and trust me you're not going to regret it okay she needs your support now more than ever thank you guys so so much if at this point you're not yet subscribed to this channel what are you waiting for should i come and beat you <laughs> please my love go ahead and click on the subscribe button and also turn on your post we yeah we are new videos new videos that said stay blessed and stay safe bye